on even path with gullies, potholes, broken pavements and collapsed bridges. These are characteristics of most rural roads in Kwara State. And terrifying may just be the perfect word to describe these images, a nightmare for motorists plying these routes. Trucks getting stuck for days are common sights on these roads. The economic effect of these deplorable roads is obvious. With poor road network, rural farmers cannot transport their produce. Hence, they are discouraged from embarking on large-scale farming. Ladies and gentlemen. To intervene, the Kwara State Government flags off the upgrade of the 5.2 kilometers Alakpa Agubari Road, one of the roads listed among others covering 700 kilometers across the 16 local government areas of the state. The project falls under the Rural Access and Agricultural Marketing Project. Under this project, this administration will upgrade 125 kilometers of roads to asphalt or sealed materials carry out on transport improvements on 450 kilometers of road and routine maintenance of 700 kilometers of road. The government will also carry out backlog maintenance on 200 kilometers of road. Five river crossing will be fixed, while some existing markets will be upgraded to homes. All of these are to be done in partnership with the World Bank and other international donor agencies. The projects are worth US dollars 60 million and will be spread across six local government areas of the state in phases. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, our administration has so far paid 400 million counterpart funds for the RAM to make this huge intervention possible. All of these are to be done in partnership with the World Bank and other international donor agencies. This initiative will also provide employment opportunities to communities living along the constructed rehabilitated road corridors through community-based maintenance program designed by the project. The overall objective is to revamp the agricultural sector to boost the most needed sufficiency in food production, provide employment opportunities, reduction in post-harvest losses and access to social amenities. I am particularly pleased to inform this gathering that there is an ongoing consultancy under the project to design, develop and oper operationalize Nigeria Rural Transport Information Management System, NATIMS. In Kwara State, we have identified so far 130 number rural roads, totaling about 1,954 kilometers that will receive various intervention under this project. This will no doubt support the good work of His Excellency in developing rural areas in Kwara State. Let me therefore assure Your Excellency of the commitment of the support of the National Office of RA under the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development in assisting the state to successfully implement the project. The National Office of RA will continue to provide the needed guidance and technical support to ensure that the state reaps the benefit of the project. Some community leaders cannot wait to see these roads fixed to enhance rural economies. There's no doubt that this community is going to benefit a lot because this is one of the social amenity that is expected in our community that is going to facilitate the movement of the product we are having down to the city and movement of the vehicle from one community to another is going to be given free access as well. The road project is expected to boost the economy of rural areas when completed. You can always be a part of the program by simply posting your eyewitness stories on our portal via the Channels TV app, which you can download from the various app stores online. Now let's see what you've uploaded for the week. We begin this part of the program with pictures of Adiyan Orudu Road off Agbadoe Joko in Ifo local government area of Ogun State. 
The road is in a bad state. The eyewitness reporter is appealing to the state government to fix it. Next is Potoku Canal in a cotton area of Lagos State. The unfenced canal exposes residents to security threat and environmental hazards. It stretches all the way to communities around the Lagos State University in Ojo. The area is always flooded whenever it rains because of the blocked canal. The reporter is asking the Lagos State government to help dredge the canal. This next picture shows refuse dumped on a section of the Apapao Shodi Expressway. The reporter laments the flagrant disrespect for the environmental laws and calls on relevant authorities to help cut away this refuse defacing the area. Finally, these are pictures of the ongoing construction of new census bridge as part of the Babs Anima Shaunsuru Lere Road project, facilitated by the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Gwajabi Amila. The census bridge is designed with four lanes upon completion. The project will lead to full dualization of the entire Babs Anima Shaun Road. The project is in line with the infrastructure plan of the Lagos State Government to enable better road infrastructure and free flow of traffic from Koka Aguda to Babs Anima Shaun for the Thomas and Urile area. Those are your shorts. Thank you for sharing them. We look forward to receiving more from you. Thank you so much for watching. I am your me or Taigui.